Welcome to Searching for History. I'm Aaron. This is Rollin. Hey, how's it going? And we have Thor in the back seat today. Well, on this episode, we're going to go check out Fort Hennis. And when I say check out, I don't think there's really anything there, but the site of Fort Hennis. If you remember from a previous episode, we were talking about the 1855 Indian Wars and we visited uh, the Chambers Blockhouse site. Well, this is another site that has to do with the 1855 Indian Wars. So let's go check it out. I think the site's just right up here, maybe and where those fir trees are. We're at the site of Fort Hennis. It was built and occupied by pioneers during the Indian War of 1855 to 56. This memorial was erected by the Washington State Historical Society in 1926. So what we're looking at here is more or less a plan of the fort. We were reading that there were 240 adults and children that lived inside the fort from 30 families. What you see here is they lived in lean-tos against the outer wall around, around the fort. Uh, the single men lived in a barracks and there was a small school and there was also a well dug inside the fort. I believe this W represents the well. And on opposing corners, there was a bastion. So there were two bastions. This allowed, if you were in a bastion, this allowed you to see down this wall and across this wall. And so for, from two bastions, you could cover all the walls of the fort. The fort was built by settlers that lived on Grand Mound. And here's some of the names of the people here that lived in the fort. So the fort was named after a Captain Benjamin Hennis of the Washington Territorial Volunteers. So the fort would have been somewhere right here. You know, it was only used for, what was it, 16 months? Yeah, not very long. This fort was built by people who lived around here. That's right. So all the people who lived around here were so frightened of an Indian attack because of the Indian Wars that they built this fort. I think they actually lived here for over a year. I would imagine that the fort, even though it was used for a year, probably existed here a lot longer than that and then was used for other purposes. I know like uh, the, the Boris blockhouse, for example, became uh, like a granary or a hayloft. Yeah, it's just like today. If you have a building that you're not using for its intended purpose, you just put a whole bunch of stuff in it. Yeah. I think this fort may have looked something similar to Fort Nisqually. It was probably smaller, but it, Fort Nisqually had the two bastions as well. So that's probably a good image to have in your mind when you're thinking about what was in this location. So it would be pretty cool to put some trenches in, in this field to see if we could find any evidence of the palisade wall around, you know, that built, that made up the stockade. It would also be interesting uh, to look at aerial photo taken of this in August to see if there's any crop marks that show buried walls. We might have to come back here and, and do that one of these days by a drone and, and see if we can see something like that. Now, sometimes you can get lucky and find artifacts in the mole mounds, the little mole hills, which there's quite a few in this field. Is there any artifacts in those mole hills? Thora, we'll find them. Is Thora an archaeologist? She's an archaeologist now. Oh! Actually, look at this. A glass bottle. Definitely came up in that molehill. Yeah. But I th think it's too modern yep. to be associated with the fort. 
I mean, it's screw top. And it's clear glass. It's colorless. So. But that is an example of how different items can come up through a molehill. Yep. That's exciting. Oh, now we're on to something. Look at this. Look at this little piece of glass that came up in this molehill. See that? Wow, yeah. Some blue glass. Uh -huh. That could be Fort Hennis. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who would have known? We found Fort Hennis. <laughs> I'm impressed. I bet you felt pretty isolated out here on the prairie. No other towns around and just the families inside the stockade. So what are your thoughts about Fort Hennis? I think it's a good spot for a fort. I think um, at the time, I don't think there would have been any, uh, all the trees around, just yeah, some Yeah, this would have been open prairie been open with prairie. Uh, oak woodlands here or there. So you would be able to see any approaching hostile intruders. And so I think it was a good, a good spot. You had a good view of Mount Rainier. You had a good view of Mount Rainier. Which if they had known that it was a volcano, maybe they wouldn't have settled here. Yeah, I don't know what they knew about that. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short little video on Fort Hennis. And stay tuned, there'll be more Searching for History coming out. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video, and please subscribe to this channel. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.